Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Uh, yeah, welcome to another YouTube video. This is your first time coming to my YouTube channel. Please, I'll suggest you go over like two more videos so you see that my content is worth it and then you subscribe afterwards. But yeah, um, my last video I was talking about part-time jobs in Sweden and I wanted to make, up, make a follow-up video on if your part-time job can actually fund your education in sweden as an international student and um, okay so i think there are like two parts of international right now so maybe it's the international students of people within the eu and there's like international students of people outside the eu and for this video and the last one i i am referring to international students outside the eu because International students within the EU don't need to pay school fees to attend Young Shopping University or like a Swedish university because they are part of the EU. So that's that that's like one of the benefits they get. But if you are coming from outside the EU as an international student, you have to pay the school fees then. But yeah, um, my last video, I made a video <laughs> about part-time jobs at admin requested so many times on this channel and i got like i think i got like five or six comments about my esther and i'm like guys you guys are losing focus <laughs> you guys are losing focus the point of the video was the video not me but yeah thank you thank you thank you i really love the hairstyle it's good it's good you know i look more fresher you see the pictures i took they are mad like if there's a definition of mad, that is what it was. <laughs> but because I'm not the point of this video. But yeah, I just wanted to see that. But thank you. I like the hairstyle and I'm considering, you know, having this as one of my f top favorite hairstyles to be doing. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm sure you've already seen the editing of the video. If can your part-time job fund your education? And yeah, let's just go straight into it. So. If you've not watched the previous video, I would I suggest you watch it above. I'll link it out up and I'll say you should watch that first so you know the, the salary range, um, the kind of part-time jobs that you are open to or that you have a chance of getting. So watch that first, then come back to this video. Um, yeah, posting is... We are going to be doing a calculation so that it makes a lot of sense or it's easier to understand and from the previous video i made you see that if you decide to work let's say part time is like 20 hours a week yep so in the whole month that would be 80 hours so let's say you decide to stretch that a little bit and you make it 25 hours a week so i'm just stretching this so that we can have a round figure 100 <laughs> So if you stretch it 25 hours a week, that would be four weeks, that is 100 hours, yeah. And your base pay is say 150, yeah, or yeah, 150. Let's see, so 150 times 100, 100 hours in a month, you get 15K, yep. So when you get 15K, let's say you have some like other benefits like, um, night working in the night working on weekends those kind of benefits let's say you add that up let's say you get another extra 3k yeah let's say another 3k actually 3k is good 3, 3k is you can actually get 3k on the other benefits so let's say you add another 3k or 3 5 3k we have like 18k so far We have like 18k so far um the tax in young shopping is like i, I think I, I would say you get tax i mean like 20 something 29 percent like 33 i just get tax 33 so i'll use 33 percent what you get after tax is equal to is 12,060 crowns yeah 12,060 crowns assuming you are charged 33 percent tax yep so that means you pay tax of about 6k ish ish yeah 6k ish which is not so bad i mean so you get 12k remaining in your account at the end of the month um 
there was this video I made about um, living expenses as a student. I will link that above so that you can watch that also. I shared it like a template, not really like a template, but I shared like one of the expenses I had in a whole month. I think that was one of my most simplest month so far. <laughs> but <laughs> now that list is different from what's happening in real life. Now that list was last year. Shit is changing. <laughs> But yeah, that you give you an estimate of how much I spend in a month. So, um, let's say your living expenses. I don't think your living expenses at three k or three five is so absurd. So let's say three five, three five. Looking at um accommodation, feeding, some unexpected events that you want to go to and stuff like that. So let's say three five four your living expenses so this is house amenities toiletries food transportation bus cards yeah let's say three five your rent let's say you stay in a city like young shopping i mean you can get a good place for like three five yeah i feel like three two so let's use three five so three five plus three five you get another seven k yep and your salary at the end of the, end of the month is 12k right so 12k minus 7k that is 7k accommodation and your living expenses that is um 5k <clears throat> but also know that like the swedish government or the migration says that you should calculate your living expenses at eight about eight thousand six or eight thousand eight i'm not so sure of the exact figure right now but i'll put it at the, at the bottom of the video so it's actually the seven k I calculated is actually not so far off from this, because this is some. This is because sometimes student accommodation usually you can actually get a student accommodation for like five k ish. So three k for your other expenses is actually realistic, but accommodation is like three five to like five k depending on the kind of places you get or the kind of city you stay in. Back to our calculation, guys. Don't forget. So salary twelve k. Living expenses 7k, you get 5k at the end of the month. So let's say, let's use me for example. Um, you pay your first school fees before you come to Sweden. You come to Sweden in August. Um, I mean, I didn't get a part time job until November, but of course, some people usually get like from the first month they get them, but they know people. But the most likely scenario is like you don't know anyone or you know someone. Even if you know someone, that does not guarantee you get a job immediately. You come, so let's say you get a job in November, like I did. Next school fees. So let's even not forget that the average school fees for a master's. I'm saying master's because that's what I'm doing. Average school fees for a master's is like 52. Yeah, like 50 to like 70k. My school fees is like 70k per semester. 70k Swedish kroner, that's like 7,000 euros. That is if. No swearing. That is a whole lot of money. 7k is bloody expensive. Get it and get it. There, there's no going around that. 7k is fing. 7k is expensive. So, let's say you're like me. And there's also, let's not forget that, of course, there's also the, like, the university scholarships, which can range from like 30% so about maybe 100% depending on the kind of school you go to how competitive the school is and how good the school is so young shopping has like a this 30% scholarship they give to a number of students I don't know if I don't think the number of students that they give it to is disclosed so there's really no way to calculate the odds of getting that 30% but let's say you get the 30% 30% of 70k per semester is 49k 49k yeah good and fine not, not so not so much not not a very very crazy ali i number i mean 21k Oof. there's a lot in nigeria that is about one point something million there so phew, you've saved something so let's say you get it 30 percent off i thought you get 30 percent off now your school fees is forty nine thousand swedish credit that's like almost four thousand nine hundred euros <laughs> yeah we can make it work so you get this um you save 5k right don't forget you're saving 5k every month this is assuming you stick to your budget of 7k a month you're saving 5k a month from your salary of 12k 
um, you get a job like me in November. November, you get your first salary. December, you get your second salary. You have to pay your school fees before the semester starts in January. So you have a deadline invoice of about, I think, December 17th. So you've only worked one month technically. One month technically. So that is 5K. So you see, 5K doesn't do shit. So let's assume again that. So this now shows that we cannot even pay our second school fees if we don't get a job. Let's say you even get a job immediately you come. Let's say you come in August and you start working in September, right? So September, October, November, December, four months. If you say for 5K, for 5K, bam, 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 bam. How much is that? 20K. 20K or 49K. Ding, ding. 29K is still missing. So there's another calculation. Let's say you pay the first one, you pay the second one, right? Now the third one is next August. Um, let's say you start working from January. Or oh, now we are calculating a clean slate because you've somehow paid your second school fees magically with somebody helping you or something, something like that. Yep. So January to August is August is the eighth month. So we have seven months between this. Um, seven months, five five k, five five k is thirty five k. Let's not even forget that during the summer you spend more. The summer comes with its expenses because you're chilling, you're flexing. The sun is out. You know, you're going to parties. You're going out. Ding ding. You're spending more. So this is not even. This is minus. Let's say you're even very frugal. I'm not frugal. I'm just managing. I mean, I'm not. I'm not like that. <laughs> Let's say you are like that. Let's say you decide to spend less. Decide to spend less, yeah. So you get a bus. My bus card is like four hundred. My bus card is like four hundred. So instead of spending three five a month, aside your rent. So let's say your rent is static three five. You can change that. I decide to spend 2k a month. That means you save an extra 1.5. January to August, you get, I mean, seven months, seven months to work. So do you have 6.5, 6.5, seven months. I have to calculate that. I can't use my head for that. Sorry. <laughs> that is 45, 500. I mean, let's say, I mean, 4k or 4.4, four, four, year 4.4, four, four, four. somewhere magical. <laughs> Let's not forget that for you to get some kind of jobs, you need Swedish language. That is one. Let's not forget that <laughs> the more hours you work, you got to the more you get. Yes, let's not even forget the calculation of. So this video is just all about the place because I just want to give you an overall understanding of what goes into my head when people ask me that can I work for my school fees. Like, because I always get the question, can I work for my school fees? And this is just the calculations that go into my head. So let's say you do a calculation of of um, 25 hours a week here. Yeah? Sometimes you have assignments. Some assignments are crazily mad, time consuming. Some weeks, let's say you don't do. Let's say you can't even stop working. I are just working. Your education suffers it. If your education suffers it, that's the primary reason why you're in Sweden. Still, it's not it's still to a disadvantage to you. But I mean, you get to actually. Let's not forget that you actually work more during in December and also during the summer. So during the summer, you increase your hours from hundred hours a week to let's say you get a full time job like where you work. So you increase it from. Which of course you have to find it first. <clears throat> yep. So let's say you increase from hundred hours a week a month, I mean, to say one thirty. Yeah. Or one forty hours. One forty hours is adding an extra ten. So you are working thirty hours a week now. One forty hours. You increase your working hours to one forty hours a week. And now you're making 21 base pay, 21k base. 
as you get some extra benefits for about 5k so you get like extra benefits working nights working on weekends to about 5k now that means your base pay has increased to everything in total for twenty six thousand. Hmm, that's good that's good and then you stay in the city like young shopping and then you get taxed like 33 percent or let's say you, you get taxed like 33 percent which is not absurd don't get me wrong i'm not saying that you everybody in sweden gets the tax tax 33 percent i'm just trying to say that in that's what i get taxed for my part-time job so let's say you get taxed that same amount i'm just putting this as a safe number actually but yeah 33 percent 67 percent of of course under minus 33 67 67 percent of your 26k that you've gotten is now 21 is now 17k actually let me see increased working 100 hours a month to working 140 hours a month made you realize an extra of 5k it's a lot yeah 5k can go a long way so let's say January, February, March, April, May. Five months you do, you save your 5k, that is 25k. Now you do August, June, July, August, and you make 17.5. Yeah, 17.5. That means you have an extra, you have an extra 5k to save. Yeah, that means you have an extra 5k to save. That means you are saving 10k now. That means you save 10k for three months. That is 30k. 30k plus your original plus the January to May. Five months. That is 25k. 25k. 30k. 75k. Huh. What can you? But you know what? We are in the world. And shit doesn't always go as planned. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to make this video dramatic. I'm just trying to make you understand actually. So. I'm sorry if this is dramatic. But that this is actually how it is. Like this is just real life. Like. Yeah, so this is just assuming, you know, when, when I was in like high school or secondary school, like what you do, would you say this thing in chemistry under standard STP, under STP, under standard temperature, <laughs> under standard time and temperature? Yeah, that is assuming all conditions go as planned, but things never go as planned. I mean, that's why people have like plan A, plan B, plan C. Yeah, so if you are looking for my simple answer. Can your part time job fund your education? Personally, I'm all, don't kill yourself. Don't do it. People are doing it. Yeah, people might be doing it. But, nah, I don't advise it. I don't advise it. But yeah, this is just my advice on the internet. This is just a random guy on the internet trying to make videos for his YouTube channel and telling that you should not do what you have been thinking about doing for your. For the longest time possible so you can take it or leave it this is what i think if you now ask me what do you think can work simeon yeah thank you for asking me for my advice what do i think will work would be to get funded like from your country outside that i mean that's like the migration axis for like a proof of fund for you to come before you get like your permit after you paid your first school fees so if your school fees is being paid, I mean, that is actually very similar to like the Swedish students or the European students. They don't pay school fees, but if you are Swedish, you get like a certain amount from the government, which I mean, I think, which can cover your rent. Then you find your feeding money yourself or you get a loan. Yeah, so it's the same way. For it's the same way too someone pays your school fees and you then work for your living expenses almost the same if you ask me can you work for your living expenses oh yes did you see the calculation i made you'll be a baller <laughs> but yeah that is that is just the same my simple solution get funded with your school fees from somewhere else and then make your living expenses here that works better than trying to look for your school fees here in Sweden where you get to Sweden. People do it. People survive it. Of course, people survive it. But damn, 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 damn. You know this song? I don't want this life to suffer. If I follow a politician, 
and not like enjoyment back back. Money dear for a pocket, go back, go back. See, I don't like enjoyment. I'm just saying, this is me, of course. Like I, like I always say, it is me, my opinion, what I think. But yes, this is the end of this video, guys. Thank you for watching. This video was long, and I don't know how come. This video is long. I just checked it now. This video is long. So thank you guys for watching this video. And yeah, um, if you are the prequel to this video is actually I'll link it up here again so you watch that before you watch this. But yeah, thank you guys for watching my video, and see you guys next week when I release another video Sunday, three thirty p.m. CET time. Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and leave your comments. Yes, my hairstyle is good. Thank you. I really like the fact that you guys appreciated my hairstyle. But yeah, thank you so much and see you guys on the next video. Bye. Peace out.